question from the Geneva Auto Show. How many horsepower can you get on one car? Like the Koenigsegg Regera. That has 1,500 horsepower, some electric, mostly gas. Now, the trick about having all this horsepower is getting it to the ground, and that's the uh, Koenigsegg's trick. It starts with the electric power, and then when it needs to, it kicks in the gas. It actually has only one forward gear, and that gear is go like hell. But it's not the most powerful car here. Well, with Bugatti, it was 1,000 horsepower. Then it was 1,200 horsepower. Now, with the new Chiron, it's 1,500 horsepower. And uh, it comes out of this beast. This is not actually a tugboat. This is actually the engine in that car. And I want you to notice two things. First, the sheer size of it and displacement. With four turbochargers, 16 cylinders, it's just a monster. Now, the way they get the power to the ground is this engine is always running on one the front turbocharger. Which way is the front? It's this way. And then when you get to the point where you're going fast enough that uh, fully accelerating won't explode all four tires at the same time, then this turbocharger kicks in and that will eventually mount to 1,500 horsepower and 2,000 newton meters of torque, which is a lot. So that's reality. Now for a little deviant fantasy. This is the Arash AF10. It boasts 2,000 horsepower and 1,400 newton meters of torque thanks to a Corvette engine, a six-speed manual gearbox, and four honking electric motors situated on the output shafts of the wheels. Now, this is a model at the moment, but uh, theoretically and practically, there's nothing to stop them from making this car in a couple of years, they say. You want to get really far out? How about this car? This is the Tech Rules AT96, and it has a total of seven sources of power, including six electric motors, a pretty decent internal combustion engine, and then a turbine which drives generators in the back. When you start adding that kind of uh, flexibility to these cars, and that's the sort of thing that, gives, that electric motors give you, uh, you can do just about anything. So what comes next year? 2,500 horsepower, 3,000 horsepower. We talked to a couple of engineers who didn't put an upper limit on the number. Uh, we just know whatever's coming next is coming fast.